This week, we are continuing the series on having a website for your voiceover business. So far, we've covered if and when you need a website, how to pick a domain name that you're going to love for years to come, and how to get the right hosting set up so that your site and your demos load faster. If you missed any of those episodes, make sure that you check them out for more details on that. But this week, we're going to be diving into the actual tools that you can use to help you get your beautiful website online. So let's go ahead and get started. Welcome back to the Voice Acting 101 podcast. I'm Jason, and this week I wanted to talk about some of the tools that I've used and still use today that can help make it easier for you to put your voiceover website together. Now, we're going to be covering a lot of tools, uh, so there's going to be a lot of links. I'm going to leave a link in the description for each tool that's mentioned so that you can find it if you want to take a closer look at it. Now, before we get into the actual tools for building your website, I want to first cover some of the apps and the websites that are out there that can help you uh, get some inspiration for your site design. Because in order to build the website, you're going to want to have an idea of what you want it to look like first. So a good way to start is to just find colors that you like, because colors are a big part of a website's design. So one way to do that is using a website called coolers.co. They have a color palette generator that you can use. All you have to do is just hit your space bar. It's going to cycle through a bunch of different color themes. So you can keep going until you find the colors that you like. Uh, There's also a Google Chrome browser extension that I use. It's called ColorPick Eyedropper. Uh, It sits right in your browser. You can use it on any website that you're on. If you're on a website and you see a color that you like, uh, or maybe you see an ad that comes through, wherever it is, if it's on your screen, you can use that ColorPick Eyedropper to grab the color code. Uh, Either way, you just want to look for like two or three colors that go together and that you like or that you love, and then you want to save their color codes uh, for later use on your website. Maybe it's going to be a background color, maybe it's going to be used in your logo, or maybe the text color, but you just want to save those colors and use them later on. So once you have some colors in mind, then it's time to find out what fonts you're attracted to. Maybe you like something fancy, maybe you like a casual type of font, or modern looking, or like uh, handwritten. It really just depends on the image that you're going for with your brand. Uh, Google has a bunch of free fonts that you can browse through. Their website is fonts.google.com, so check that out. Or again, there's also a Chrome extension that you can use. It's another one. It's called What Font. Uh, You can just put it in your browser. So if you're on a website and you like the font and it's not an image, you know, if it's it's actual text, you can just uh, click on the text and What Font is going to tell you the font name. So that comes in handy as well. Uh, If you just want to see some websites to help give you an idea of what looks good, what's out there, there's another website. It's called dribble.com. That's with three Bs. Uh, And once you get there, they have a landing page section that you can browse through. It might give you a good idea uh, for what a nice layout would look like. Now, you're not going to find any site designs on there for voiceover specifically, uh, but it can still give you an idea of good design. Next up is a tool that is kind of half inspiration and half design and that is Canva. I've used Photoshop for years, uh, but Canva has been around for a while now, uh, and it just makes creating graphics easier because they have hundreds of beautiful templates that you can start from, so you don't have to start from scratch every time. And they even have logos on the website. So if you don't already have a logo for your voiceover business and you need one for your website, you can go to Canva. You can search for logo, and you're going to get a library of graphics to start with. And then all you have to do, it's real easy. You can customize it to fit your needs. Now, a couple things to keep in mind when it comes to your logo. First, on Canva, I would avoid using a microphone in the logo. It just seems like it's been overused. Everyone has a microphone in their their logo. So I would avoid using a microphone if you're creating your logo. Also, you want to make sure that you have a logo that you like, but you also want to keep in mind that your logo on its own isn't going to bring in work. So you don't want to fall into the trap of just spending hours or days tweaking a logo and getting stuck on making your logo, because in the long run, it probably isn't worth taking up that much time. So just create something simple that you like and just go with it. Now, also in Canva, you could even build your entire website. They have the ability to do that. I don't recommend it because it's pretty limited in what you can do with it. And that's kind of my thinking around the other services out there like Wix or Squarespace. Uh, You know, they are easy to use, but they aren't ideal for voiceover websites and they're kind of limited in what exactly they can do. Also, there are pre-built themes out there that you can buy, uh, but these aren't going to be made for voiceover specifically. Odds are they're not. There might be one or two out there that are, but 
Uh, in general, the majority of them, the ones that look nice out there, they're they're not made for voiceover. And based on my experience, it takes a long time to customize that theme so that it looks like it's made for voiceover. Uh, but just in case you want to check them out, maybe even just for inspiration, you can check out Envato Elements. And there's also another one called Theme Forest. Uh, those are two places where you can go to get some website themes. All right, so that should give you some ideas on the inspiration part of your website design. Now let's get into the tools for actually building your website. So I use WordPress as the website base for all websites that I'm a part of. Uh, it's free. It's super popular. If you look at the stats, around like 43% of all websites in the world are running on WordPress. So uh, it's very popular out there. But it's not as easy to use on its own, at least not for me. I haven't found it that uh, easy to work with. So along with WordPress, I also use a plugin that's available. It's called Thrive Suite, uh, and that's a drag and drop website builder, which makes it easy to design and edit your website. You don't have to worry about like knowing how to do any coding, and you can build pretty much anything that you can imagine. You can just drag and drop it. Uh, so it, it's very easy to use, and it makes it look great. It's going to take some time to get used to, but once you learn how to use it, you're going to be building your website in no time. And Thrive Suite isn't the only page builder out there. It just happens to be the one that I use, I'm comfortable with. Uh, but there are other ones like Elementor, Divi, and Beaver Builder, along with a bunch of other ones. So the main thing is just that you find one that you're comfortable with, one that you like, and one that makes it easy for you to build your website. And one final tool when it comes to building your website, and that is the VO Demo Player plugin. Uh, it's built for WordPress. It's made for voiceover demos. You can customize the colors and the fonts to make it exactly what you want it to look like. It's perfect for playing your voiceover demos on your website. And I should also mention, you can get the VO Demo Player plugin for free, which is part of the VO Website Template, which is the website template specifically made for voiceover. Uh, it's customized to match your brand and customized for you. And that is available at voiceacting101.com slash website. So if you decide uh, you want your voiceover website up and running within just a couple of days and you want it to be all done for you, you can uh, get that at voiceacting101.com slash website. And you can go there and see everything that is included. All right, there you go. These are the tools that I've used to build websites. You can check the description for links to any that I mentioned and to get more information. But I hope this helps. And if you happen to build a website, make sure that you leave a comment with a link to the website. Let me know. I'd love to check it out. All right. Thanks for listening. I'll talk with you next time. Have a great week.